the king in the black cassock, the world's crucifixion on the cross, and sacrificial love that pours its heart out in union with Christ, the divine bridegroom of every soul. Please note that all the Catholic mystical theology lessons taught at Christ's School of Sacrificial Love at the Inner Sanctum for Crucified Souls on Mount Calvary are to be generalized to each person and his or her vital, irreplaceable, indispensable, and God-given holy apostolate of reparation. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight indivisible as one in Christ, unified with his salvific mission and with his reparative suffering, for the greater honor and glory of our triune God first and foremost, and then for the massive conversion of sinners, non-believers, and the habitually treasonous, for the defeat of grave evil in our time, for the restoration of Christ's desecrated Catholic Church, sacred priesthood, and people, and for the sanctification and eternal salvation of all souls not limited to time and place, including one's own poor soul. A Sunday Evening of Atonement on August the 27th, 2017. While taking your customary late evening walk outside with a flashlight to let vehicles know of your presence so as not to startle them when they come upon you, while looping around the driveway, out into the road, and circling back around by the garage to approach the road once again by the mailbox after passing by the little leaning apple tree. And while walking along the side of the road, you see a series of feminine hygiene products lined up in a row and positioned all in the same way, symmetrically placed on the lawn perpendicular to the road. Several months ago, overnight on a Friday into Saturday morning, someone left urine on a white trash bag that had been placed on the front porch. You already had endured plenty of this Luciferian filth while at the increasingly modernist desecrated Slovak parish in suburban Detroit that loved it, allowed it, encouraged it, and was ultimately destroyed by it demise by self-interest. Christ's authentic traditional Catholic remnant was promptly notified of this latest sinister desecration. Anyone caught on tape desecrating our Lord's property, where his holy face devotion has been established for the sake of the whole world in our time, which is in very serious trouble, will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Whatsoever we do to one another, we do to Christ. God's people do not allow others to be mistreated. It is gravely immoral not only to mistreat people, but to also allow it. There are no free passes for anyone. God sees everything. The Tridentine Holy Sacrifice of the Mass celebrated in Latin at 8 o'clock in the morning on a Monday of Atonement, August 28, 2017 at the SSPX Catholic Church named after St. Joseph, which is next to a cornfield. You arrive slightly earlier than usual and absolutely relish praying in the absolute silence inside this Catholic Church. Our Lord has you kneel on the ground while suffering in union with him to make reparation for that beastly encounter inside the confessional at this church two days prior when he suddenly said after Holy Mass to go to confession. The Tridentine Holy Sacrifice of the Mass on Mount Calvary is offered for Texas, which is drowning in massive amounts of water from Hurricane Harvey. Once again, the Holy Family is manifested as present and as everyone's family. At the very start, Saint Joseph presents himself as the head of Christ's Holy Family and this is very delightful, so incredibly caring as manifested. And then the Immaculate Mother of God appears, and once again, as had been presented in the past, the Holy Family is clearly present for every single person as his or her Holy Family also. This is a very significant beginning because what follows is going to be incredibly dramatic and of utmost importance 
for mankind in our time. Christ, the divine bridegroom of every soul and our high priest, suddenly appears in the church wearing a black cassock for his divine royal wedding. Jesus, our family member and the divine bridegroom of every soul, our redeemer, restorer, and remedy for all, is outfitted in a black cassock for his divine royal wedding to each person on this day. Imagine what a sight he is absolutely breathtaking, so dignified, so elegant, so refined, so humble, and so holy. He has come to wed you, among others. Just imagine, he has you outfitted in a magnificent white wedding gown, representing his undesecrated traditional Catholic Church. As the Tridentine Holy Sacrifice of the Mass continues, Christ's sacred priesthood is suddenly presented, crucified with him on the cross there on Mount Calvary. This sight is so sudden and so shocking that it takes your breath away and the tears immediately begin falling. The whole world is then manifested as crucified on the cross with Jesus, crucified by self-interest. After a while, as the Tridentine Holy Sacrifice of the Mass continues to be celebrated so beautifully and so reverently, the entire world is presented crucified on the cross with Jesus. The crucifixion of Christ's sacred priesthood in our time and the crucifixion of the whole world in our time are both presented in two distinct ways. First, as the crucifixion of sacrificial love that spends itself by a priesthood and by a world that despises it in favor of self-interest. Note that does not include everyone. And also, as the crucifixion of holy priests and holy people willing to spend themselves in this manner, as Almighty God wills for each one, in imitation of and in union with Christ, with purity of intention and devoid of self-interest. The remedy for the execution by crucifixion of the whole world in our time is presented, and it is Almighty God, our sovereign authorities, work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus. The remedy for so much destructive and Luciferian self-interest and treason in our world is to become one in Christ as Almighty God wills for each individual and each family, unified with the King in the black cassock and in three vital ways, with his real presence through his sacraments, with his salvific mission, and with his reparative suffering. We must model our lives after Christ's life and strive to become ever more like him and like his Immaculate Mother. That means striving with all of God's might to live a sacramental life of heroic virtue while allowing Almighty God and His Immaculate Mother to use us as tremendous channels of superabundant graces for all the reasons stated at the beginning of this mystical theology lesson. The reparative suffering in union with Christ crucified on the cross is so bad, it feels like you are going to be sick this is going to change all of a sudden, shortly after receiving Holy Communion. The consecration, simple, and with the love of a child. Sacrificial love is presented again as going both ways through Christ crucified on the cross, with Almighty God's graces pouring through his sacred wounds for the sake of the whole world, and our sacrificial love offered to him in union with Christ's holy obedience and his sacrificing of himself through time, and once again in our time. Everything takes place, this incredible supernatural exchange, during the consecrations of both sacred species. What miracles! Very simply, and with childlike love, that is pure and eager to spend itself, devoid of self-interest. Holy Communion at the Communion Rail, before our Lord's High Altar. What a wonder! What a divine royal wedding to Christ the King in the black cassock. You are so unfathomably happy. Divine Union, 
Almighty God is given the apology he is due for so much self-interest that continues to crucify Christ and that is crucifying our world. All of a sudden, so happy to finally have received Christ's real presence in the small, round, white sacred host and be unified with him in this manner during the great mystery of the Tridentine Holy Sacrifice of the Mass celebrated in Latin. You are divinely inspired to apologize to Almighty God for all the offenses that have been committed against him, for which so many are not sorry. This is absolutely astounding as it takes place through Christ, and you will learn later why. Because it is being provided to the one to whom it is due in particular through the work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus, as he wishes. A proper thanksgiving during the sacred 15 minutes of divine union with Christ in his entirety and the impaling of two hearts as one sacred heart with the lance of mankind's destiny. What a magnificently beautiful time of divine union with Christ's real presence in the Blessed Sacrament during this Tridentine royal wedding holy sacrifice of the Mass, while suffering so profoundly together with him as one. But this abruptly ends with the mystical rupturing by the lance of mankind's destiny of his sacred heart unified as one with yours within you as sacrificial love pours out through the sacred wound and completely drains his sacred heart mystically unified with the work of reparation to his holy face for the sake of the whole world in our time. After leaving the church and while on the way home, all the earth rejoices following the Tridentine Holy Sacrifice of the Mass this morning because Almighty God received what he wanted through the work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus. It is not global warming that is destroying our world. It is the world's immorality that is by its very defiant nature self-destructive, while sacrificial love, which spends itself in imitation of and in union with Christ, with purity of intention and devoid of self-interest, restores, unites, properly educates, guides, and loves our triune God and then all others, wholeheartedly and with true joy. The married couple analogy. Our Lord suddenly continues the lesson with more mystical wedding theology for every soul and says that similar to how a sacramental marriage runs into trouble when at least one person is unwilling to cooperate with the other, so also does this apply to each person's relationship to God. We must be willing to cooperate with him we must listen to him. We must honor and obey him. We must properly love him with purity of intention and devoid of self-interest and with a love that is sacrificial and willing to spend itself in imitation of and in union with Christ, the divine bridegroom of every soul and the greatest love of all. A holy hour in the chapel back home that afternoon. Your heart feels absolutely broken all of a sudden. Our Lord is very, very sad today because of the suffering from Hurricane Harvey. You join him within, and at one point he presents himself and his sacrificial love subdivided so many times in every sacred host and drop of his precious blood during each consecration at every holy sacrifice of the Mass as he just keeps coming and coming and coming and coming until the end of time. The manner in which he expresses this, his unfathomable love for mankind, which includes every single one of us, is very extraordinary on this day in particular, and he would have to provide the divine supernatural inspiration for it to be expressed more profoundly than this. What the past two days presented from Almighty God's divine justice, Jesus expresses profound sorrow on this day as Houston, Texas experiences catastrophic flooding. Divine Consolation Once again, our High Priest presents himself there in the chapel during a holy hour wearing a black cassock, and you are inspired to offer him your consolation. 
You are so incredibly sad. This is not just physical, it is also supernatural and moral. And then you console Jesus by saying that you are glad that Almighty God's will is being accomplished as he wills it. Then just prior to leaving, you console him in the Blessed Sacrament inside the tabernacle and ask him a question. Jesus, there are people particularly religious who are consoling you continuously around the world. Why are you longing for me to do this so much? Our Redeemer, Restorer, and Remedy for All replies that he wishes to be consoled expressly through Almighty God, our Father of Mercies, work of reparation to his holy face. Trust all things to Jesus and the Blessed Sacrament and to Mary, help of Christians, and you will see what miracles are. Saint John Bosco. To learn more about Almighty God, our Father of Mercies, work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus, and your vital, irreplaceable, indispensable, and God-given holy apostolate of reparation, and so much more, visit www.josephcarlpublishing.com. Jesus said to Sister Mary of St. Peter, by my holy face you will work wonders, appease the anger of God, and draw down mercy on sinners, and he still means it.